New Features of Microsoft Word 2016. In this video, I'd like to explore some of the new and exciting features that Microsoft has to offer with the 2016 version of the Office Suite. One thing that I find to be incredibly helpful is the seamless integration between Microsoft Office 365 and Office 2016. I can easily open, edit, and share documents both from OneDrive as well as from SharePoint. Here, I'm in OneDrive, and what I'll do is click on Business Trip Checklist. You can see a preview of the document, and I'm going to click here, and I'll choose to use the full functionality of Microsoft Word, and click here. Right away when we open a document from OneDrive, we notice a few different things. Check out the Quick Access Toolbar. The Save button has actually changed to something more like a Sync button. Since I opened this in OneDrive, and then I chose to edit it in the full version of Word 2016. Over here you can see a new feature called Tell Me. All you have to do is type in here, in your own words, what you want Microsoft Word to do for you. It'll guide you through the process, even offer additional resources. It doesn't tell you exactly where a button lives, for example, but it does allow you to click and perform the action. Here's an example. I'll click, and I'm just going to type in Format Painter. And there it is. I got some other choices as well, like Clear All Formatting and Border Painter, and other things that include the word Format. Here I can get help on Format Painter, and I can also use a new feature called Smart Lookup, which I'll discuss in just a few minutes. Another new feature that you'll notice right away is the ability to share right from the application. I'll click here on the Share button, and I can invite people to either view or edit my document. I'll click here, and I'll just share this document with Samantha. I'll choose that she can edit this document. I'll even include a little message. I can just click Share, but let's check this out. Automatically share changes, always, ask me, or never. I'll keep that on always. I can see John Keller is right here. Also, if I'd like to, I can get a sharing link. Again, this is right from the application, so it makes it really easy to share with people both inside the organization or even outside the organization, because I can create an edit link or I can create a view-only link. If I click there, that link is generated. Anyone with this link can see the documents, but they can't edit them. When I'm done sharing this link, all I have to do is disable it, and those people with that link won't be able to view the document anymore. I'll click back, and then I'll click Share. Here on the bottom, we can see Samantha can edit, and anyone with the view link can view the document. I'll close this, and right away I can see Samantha is already in the document, and check this out, there's a little flag that has her name. So I know exactly where she's clicked on the document. This is another very cool new feature. We can work on this document in real time. For example, if Sam wanted to change the title of this document, she could just begin typing, and I'll see it in real time. I can make my changes, and she'll see those instantly as well. This is the beauty of real-time collaboration. Samantha and I were able to co-author in real time. I can see here that the real-time collaboration has ended, and this is anywhere access. We can do this cross-platform, cross-device. You can switch from one device to the next without missing a beat. Next, I'm going to double-click on the word communicate. I'll right-click and check out this new feature called Smart Lookup. Smart Lookup gives me a definition, how to pronounce it, an example, even synonyms. I can also click right here and hear a voice pronounce the word. Communicate. I'll close it and go to the Review tab. I can use, in the Insights group, Smart Lookup from here. I'll click on the Design tab and notice we have a very nice gallery of different formats. These style sets allow us to very easily change our document, including colors, fonts, even completely different themes. When I click on the File tab, here in the Backstage, we've got a few exciting new features. Of course, we have Info. With New, we have several different templates to choose from. I can choose Open. Right away, we can see recent documents, ones that were open today, even ones that were opened earlier. You can see that some of them were opened from SharePoint, some from OneDrive, and some from this computer. I also have the ability to open from OneDrive or SharePoint, this PC, and I can even add a place. If I choose Add a Place, this is where I can pick SharePoint or OneDrive, but I've already done that. When I choose Save As, I get very similar options. I can see that my current folder is actually the OneDrive that I'm using, 
History is a new area. I can see a history of this document. There's the current version, and then I have previous versions. If I click here, I can see previous versions. It tells me to make this previous version become the latest version, click Restore. I could also compare if I'd like to, but I'll click Restore. I'm prompted that my current copy has not been saved. Would I like to save a copy? Yes. It's retrieving version history. I'll get some additional choices on this document since Samantha and I co-authored. I'm just going to click OK. We have print. We have a share button. Here I can share with people. Before, I shared from inside the application. If I click on this, I can see that I'm editing this document, Samantha can edit, and anyone with this link can view it. I'm going to right-click and just disable this link. Now, whoever had that will no longer be able to view it. Maybe Samantha and I are done with this document. What I can do is right-click, and I can remove her, or I can change her permission to view only. I'm going to right-click and just remove her. I can also choose to email this document to somebody. As an attachment, I can send them a link. I can even send it as a PDF. Here, I can present online using Skype for Business. Since Skype for Business is built in, this integrates very, very nicely. We can collaborate in real time, and we can also pass control. I can send by instant message. I can also post to a blog if I'd like to. Next, I'll just click on Export. I can create a PDF from here. I can even change the file type. These new and improved features are sure to improve productivity, efficiency, and collaboration. And that's new features of Microsoft Word 2016.